Hi Capricorn, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, Capricorn, this is your reading starting today on the 23rd of July. And um, I am on a path right now where things are being shifted, changed. Uh, it's just It's just different things happening on this very awakening path and I for a while there thought that maybe I'm gonna just create another a second channel um, where we focus more on the awakened path uh, but for now uh, I'm gonna start to just incorporate that as a basis for your reading so whether it's a general reading whether I'm talking about love whether I'm talking about finances it sort of doesn't matter because at the basis of that is our awakening path because it seems like that's what almost everyone is going through right now whether they know it or not um, and so I think that that's where I am most beneficial to you guys, where I can bring the most guidance and most inspirational upliftment to you at this stage. So I'm doing the typical reading, but that with as that as a basis. And at the end of this reading, I'm going to end it off with a silent part. And if you didn't see the last love reading, you might want to go check that out. I had a ending which was 14 cards. It's not going to be 14 this time. It's just going to be three, but it's like a little silent moment for you to incorporate, integrate everything that sort of the information that has been given to you during the reading. I mean, I'm saying a lot of things, but there's also a lot of energy transmitting. And if you're really in tune, you can feel that. Um, and so at the very end, you're going to be allowed to, allowed, you're going to be able <laughs> I am allowing for you. Um, you're going to be able to watch these images and sort of just in sitting in that silence because I'm not going to talk. Uh, just release whatever you want to be wants to be released and receive whatever wants to be received, and then move into the extended from that sort of blank page if that makes sense. You're going to feel if you feel drawn to the extender or not. So I'm going to start with this beautiful angel answers by Doreen Virtue. And have two cards for the general overview. What's going on for you, Capricorn? And what is awakening? Awakening is just you coming to terms with exactly who you are, understanding your full potential. Because we hear this like this is the great awakening. You're on an awakened path. You're, you know. But what does that mean? That is you being in tune with your inner being. It's you understanding that there is a broader, bigger perspective of you than just the physical. And just really understanding your full potential while in this body. Another part for Capricorn, please. Want something specific? Very specific. Okay, I just want to check if I'm just sitting here shuffling after something that's not going to come out. That they just actually wanted one card, but no, we want one more. Just really want a specific one. I'm intrigued now to see what it is. Okay, there's also something about slowing down. Didn't I say that to you last time? Slow down. Just slow down a tiny bit and everything will fall into place. Is that it? Okay, thanks. Yeah. So the first card I have Capricorn is, and I got this for uh, the Cap, uh, the Scorpio. Maybe you have some sort of placement with Scorpio there, or something like that. I just, I just love this card. This is Ask Your Angels, and the camera reverses the images, and there's been like so many things going on around this, but I'm keeping it in now because it's actually starting to add different dimensions when it gets reversed like this. But it says Ask Your Angels, 
this to me and what came out for the Scorpio reading, and it feels very much the same. Sometimes I get cards and the, the, the message or like the intuitive message that I feel around it is sort of just not whatever the whatsoever is the same. Um, but this is, it's like the higher council. It's the highest, it's like you go to pray to this higher realms or to the the guides or your angels or your spirit team or something along, along those lines. Um, and this is like we're bringing in the big guns, like we're we're bringing the heavier, like, no, 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 wait. And I'm not, I don't mean to sort of now, <laughs> like the angels are not enough. But this is something about, okay, let's just bring the heaviest dude that we have, like, the, the purest, the clearest, which still is consciousness, consciousness, consciousness enough that it's just not isness, if that makes any sense. It is something that can actually give you an answer. It's an, it's an, the wisest beyond wise consciousness that is giving you answers, that is sort of coming to deliver answers to your questions. And on this awakening path right now, it feels like you're really are starting to, you're asking for help and you're asking to get answers. You want answers to things. It can be that you actually sat down on your knees and really maybe for not been doing that for 10 years or something, praying for an answer um, or just walking around having all these questions in your head which is also questions that you want answers to but maybe you haven't like literally just sat down and said and said out loud that you want answers but you've been asking questions and you seem somehow some way to be hooked in to this highest most gorgeous vibration which means capricorn that you're in a good you you just cannot reach this type of information you have to be in a certain stage you have to be in a certain condition vibrationally in order for you to tap into this and it might be that you're you're really really high in your vibration in if you sort of start to hear the answers if you start to see the answers um, you can have the answers written like in automatic writing. Um, you can sort of have it just knowing. You just know the information. How do you know that? I, I don't know. I just know that. That's also an answer. The answers are being given right now. And the next card out is helpful people. So it's like... It's like we have this council. We're taking the questions. We're taking your questions to the council. And this could also be people on earth, like pe on earth, but like people that are real, <laughs> that are in reality, human people um, that are coming in to sort of help you, to guide you. Maybe you just for one question, somebody just comes along on your path and there was the answer. It might not even be that they know that they had the answer for you. Um, it could be like I'm doing here. I'm doing I'm I'm doing this reading, and I'm just in, inspired to say whatever I'm saying. And there could be just one sentence, and that sentence is the answer for somebody. Um, and then we don't sort of have to connect person to person for you to get that answer, if that makes sense. Because the answer is always there. This is what's coming through the most, like for you to understand. You do you do do. <laughs> you don't have to listen to this type of recording you don't have to go seek counsel in the way like you don't have to pay to get the answer the second you have the question you have the answer you cannot have one without without the other that's the whole point like contrast and solution problem and solution question and answer it's like the same vibrational it's in the same uh you just can't have one without the other. It just isn't possible. The question now is, what are you doing? Where where do you allow yourself to be? Uh, because it's really one state to be in if you ask the question. 
And then for you to hear the answer, you really have to sort of, <laughs> I'm doing that very metaphorically, you have to be in another state to hear it, to receive the answer. And if you're in the question and in the problem, you just want an answer to this freaking problem. I've been asking and asking and asking, where is the answer? You're still in the question, if that makes sense. You have, you're in the energy around the question. And so you want to get out of the question energy and get into the answering position, if that makes sense. And how you do that is literally just by stop thinking about the question. And it, it, you could just sort of compare it with just feeling at ease, feeling relieved, feeling happy, feeling, uh, but maybe you're not feeling happy when you have this type of question. I just want to... <clears throat> point out that the reason maybe you haven't heard the answer is because <clears throat> excuse me you have been more in the question than in the answer this is also allowing for you to open up more it feels like you have these questions because it's like your inner being knows that this type of question that you have this type of answer that you're seeking that you're looking for you so much want the answer that you're actually now starting to <clears throat> there's something in my throat. It started the minute I started your reading. So there's a, there could be a clearance going on in your, in your throat energy center that you're now coming into your more authentic self, your more authentic version, starting to, Jesus, <clears throat> starting to speak your truth, uh, really come into terms with who you are. And that's sort of just really beautiful how that blends in with what I just talked about, how there could be something now that you really want to have an answer to and without you knowing it this is so smart of you that you you um orchestrated it in this way because you knew that not getting the not receiving the answer because you've received you've gotten the answer the answer is already there as soon as the problem or question is there um you knew that not getting the answer the traditional way or not getting it as fast as you would want to, you knew or your inner being knew is sort of like a guidance. And it's, a, it's a little detour. It's not like you're completely off your path, but it's like a little detour. Okay, if we, if we put him or her there, they're going to want to have that answer. They're going to want to have that solution. And so that's the only way that we're going to get them to meditate. That's the only way that we're going to get them to start to go to bed sooner. That's the only way that we're going to get them to start listening to music again, or start taking walks in nature again, or start spending time with animals again, or painting again, or whatever that is. It's like the only time I get really like balanced is when I do this thing. So maybe I should do that thing. And so that annoying thing that you don't have answers to, is actually going to lead you to start meditating more and it wasn't really about getting the answer it was about getting you to start meditating so that you can start to have this interaction with this most profound counsel it's like because you thought you had a problem or because you thought you had a question is going to lead you to like the highest it's like you're coming to the and I don't want to diminish you, Capricorn, or like us as human beings. We're the freaking coolest creation there ever was up until this point. We are this intelligence in human form. It doesn't get any cooler than that until the next of us is coming. So it's like, but I just want to, I don't want to take away that there's like a, this is smart and you're stupid. You are this but you haven't tuned into it for a while and there's and there's like this i love how like it's, like it's like you're sitting in the middle and you have a little baby there i feel like it's just speaking about how new this is to you how you're in the, just the very beginning stages and how the whole freaking it's like you gathered the not necessarily the soul tribe i would say no, I, want to, I still get the word council, like your rådet in Swedish. Like you gather the council and you have all these questions. And it's like fr from the beginning you do, you have all these questions, but then it sort of becomes clear. It's sort of like you understand, 
oh, I just need to show up. And when I show up and I'm my most authentic self, I'm coming from my heart and I'm my most authentic self, actually the answers are right there. Sometimes the answers comes in form, forms of music. It comes in forms of, I just heard something. It comes in forms of vision. Um, wh whatever that is. I feel like this is your journey to now start to connect in more with yourself and start to really pay attention. And where do you do that? Where do you pay most attention? Is that in meditation? Is that in walks in nature? Is that when you're painting or listening to music or building Legos? Because that's freaking meditative. I've come to realize building Legos with my two-year-old. It's like, ooh, you get into <laughs> like a Zen um, situation there when you start building those little thingies. Um, okay. Okay. Um, so even more clarification around this. What is this path that... So, uh, some of you guys might have a lot of deja vu. Like you feel like, wait a minute, didn't this happen like just yesterday? Or, or there's, there's, like a, there's like a situation that is so familiar to you, you feel like you've, you you lived it before you you've been here before you have had this conversation before and the answer around that is that the yes there could be it could have been a situation that is so similar that you're sort of rediscovering it again but the message here is that this is you deja vu is all about you have the feeling and the reason why you feel it has already happened is because it already has, but it has already happened in the energy form because, be, before it becomes physical. So, so everything before it becomes physical, just like us, it has started in energy form, right? So then we are materialized into this denser energy, as is everything else that you want, and as is every, every thought, like every situation and incidents that is happening is due to it has already taken place on an energy on an energetic plane so what, what is deja vu to you is not what physically happened three weeks ago or three years ago like oh my god i'm experiencing this, this again it is what just happened in the energy plane that you now are starting to interpret you're starting to tap into it on an already energy plane. You don't have to wait to see it on the physical plane to feel it or hear it or understand it. I hope this makes sense. You're opening up your senses. You're opening up your, and I, I am careful when I say, you're, you're starting to, you're like you're having psychic gifts. Everybody has that. If you're just quiet enough, if you just pay attention. I wasn't born like a saint. <laughs> And I was, I'm, I'm no saint now either. Uh, I mean, I just wasn't, I had a gift since I was five years old, or I hit my head in a, in a rock, and then when I woke up, I was like, I saw angels. None of that has happened for me, although I was in a car accident, and there were some questions after. But to me, it's been a, it's been a constant just being on this journey, and just kept at it just kept meditating kept wanting to have this like conversation and have this connection with my inner being first and foremost and then with this council and that i feel like that's what you're you're opening up to a brand new world for yourself it's not foreign it's not you're not est estranged do you say that estranged Sounds good because a stranger would be somebody that, so maybe that's the same thing, estranged is what I'm getting. You're not estranged to the whole, <laughs> I'm hoping I'm using that correctly. Um, unfamiliar, you're not unfamiliar with the whole concept of, of the non-physical or the spirit world or angels or like you, you, you have a sense of that. But to really incorporate it and not make it so mystical and woo-woo, you know? It's, it's you bringing it in. And then it's so interesting because it's like... I have one card. Um, 
I clarified this yesterday. It's so interesting. Okay, so two things I want to say is, so the first thing is, um, you might be doing things right now, living your life, doing what you think is just stuff that you're doing, and then the day after, a week after, or, or a couple of hours after, you realize, wait, that thing that I was doing there, that so that was linked to this oh my god like and this is how it's been all along like you're doing something like okay so i had these two cards come out yesterday i asked for something personal myself and i, I wasn't i wasn't drawn to whatsoever the the words of it and i'm not now either it says get more information and if you believe but i mean get information always and if you believe always so I guess that's like just foundational stuff but here is like it's a very um, I, I got these cards I have to finish that first <clears throat> I got these cards and I worked them out for myself and and I, I sort of looked at it thinking hmm one card is really like bright really super bright in its colors is it hasn't really like f f come into form it's just there being a bit like in the background we have a we have a star around it you almost don't see it crossing over like that and i have to almost do this because i almost don't see it myself like that there's like a star right in front of you and then it's a star behind you. So this is very much a star card. It's sort of, um, it has an Aquarian feel to it, um, but it's like a new adventure and so it's, it's a new, exciting, like you're finding out new things here. Um, but it's just in the very beginning stages, it's very blurry. And then I noticed like, okay, and this, it's very like coming into form. It's more colorful, it's coming into form. I don't have to point out where the star is. I was like, this is interesting, because like one is very like blurry and one is way more clear. And I just paid attention to I like that's the only thing I was like, because that's well, that wasn't the answer for me. Uh, but I, I sort of noticed that. I was like, hmm, that's interesting. One is like a bit more faded and one is very more ready, so to speak. So the two things that I'm feeling around that is that you might be getting things that you don't even understand that the thing that you're getting is not is going to show up later. You're going to start to understand in the midst of you doing something that feels like it has nothing to do with nothing. Even in those beginning, beginning stages, in those subtle, subtle, in between the lines stages, are you going to get a hint? You've always gotten that hint. You've always gotten that that sort of whisper from your inner being, but you're going to start to feel it. You're going to start to hear it and you're going to start to react to it. You're going to start to like, okay, point taken. And even say it out loud to yourself. So your inner being understand that you're, you're, you're there. You're, you're getting it. I'm getting, you don't have to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> That's just me. You don't have to say I got that because your inner being gets that you get that you got that. Okay. Um, so that's just for me. I like to say I got that. I heard that, saw that. Thank you to just to just sort of confirm to myself that th th there's something going on. Um, take score is what I want to say. Take score. That's a really good expression for what this is. You're taking score of what's happening, even in the subtlest is that a word in the subtlest stages that you you get that okay there's something here you don't know what that is yet you have you don't have the full picture you don't you don't really know what's going to come but there is something here only to find out two hours later or three days later and that's going to sort of almost knock you over might not knock you over but it's in terms of you the subtleness that you picked up two days ago into this whether you're sitting watching a movie or you're interacting with somebody or you're doing something randomly when that thing gets sort of 
hooked in again like you're here and here comes the answer to that or just another puzzle piece to the first puzzle piece i love these puzzle pieces um to the sort of un uncovering of the mystery uncovering of the story that you're being told right now like having little breadcrumbs being shown to you i'm getting so excited when i get these type of messages because i love personally love them so much um so, th so there's something to it about like really start to pay attention, Capricorn, really start to listen in to the guidance that's being given to you and to then understand, okay, we have a puzzle piece here. Something shows up later. You, and that could be the whole story. It's like, oh Lord. Okay. Just because that happened, somebody says something and that's a confirmation for me, for you. It might not make sense to anybody else. It might even, on the contrary, be so silly to somebody else, but to you is crystal clear. Also, the second thing is that because yesterday I didn't. Yesterday I didn't know. I didn't know that the 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 the, the, the just pay attention to. Oh, huh, that's interesting. How that is a little, you know more faded and this is a bit more clear and then I get exactly these two cards today and I already have that like oh is that what that was for um and also there is something around the lines of as soon as there's a question you have the answer as soon as you want something there is a way for you to to get there or have it and I cannot say that without saying I've been more and more drawn into talk about the law of resonance, whether, whether um, instead of the law of attraction, because law of attraction is a bit more, feel the difference between law of attraction and law of resonance. Just, and, and I'm talking about the subtleness here again. Feel the energy around law of attraction and feel the energy around, around law of resonance. Attraction is like it's happening, it's being brought together, it's like it's, it's in the making. Resonance just feels very, it's almost like law of attraction is very, very masculine. I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying what I'm feeling around it. It's like it's very masculine and law of, res law of resonance is very feminine and flowy. And, and all you need to do with the law of resonance is you just need to vibrate in the place where that's send, the sending the same signals to something else already existing. Because as soon as you have a question, you have the answer. The answer in a, on an energy plane is already taking place. And all you need to do to bring this in, instead of focusing on what I need to do and what I have to do and blah, 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 so that law of attraction will give it to me is to just start to vibrate in a place understanding it has already taken place for it to send a signal to that thing that has already taken place to start to resonate with it that's it for you to start to have that happen in your life and to understand then that we're starting on a very subtle level it's the subtlety but that's where everything happens it's the wish it's the wanting it's the problem it's the question and it's on a very very subtle level very in between the lines but it's all it's also all the information it's like super power all the information and you probably don't see that but in the midst of that star there's a dove there's those birds again capricorn following it following you and us around and then with the with a bit of resonance, with a bit of time, and even just understanding, and I guess if you believe, I guess you could say if you believe, but it sort of takes it back to the bit of a flawed, like people not really understanding law of attraction. When I see videos where they say, are you using the law of attraction? <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's like saying, are you using law of gravity? No, I'm not. Well, actually you are, even though you don't know that you are. This is like coming to real fruition. This is, this is taking the very subtle stuff. What's happening, happening on a very etherical place, on a non-physical place, and, and have that come to fruition. The only thing you need to do is start to pay attention. 
You start to listen in, start to resonate with whatever resonates with you, which means you should not force yourself to feel something about something you don't like. This is just starting to vibrate or starting to resonate. I'm saying that all the time. If you, if you, if you don't resonate with this or if in the extended, you feel, that's all, all I'm saying. If you feel like you resonate with it, come and, come and have a look-see, you know? That's the resonance. So there's something about really learning this right now, Capricorn, really understanding how you go from question to answer, from problem to solution, from non-physical to physical, from ethereal world to reality. And, and starting to fully understand, and I love how it's a star in both of them, how it's a new adventure and how it's like, it's, it's such a new way of looking at things and understanding yourself, understanding your cre creational, creative powers. I absolutely adore this. I'm going to go into the silent part, and you're going to watch three cards if you want to, obviously, if you resonate with it. Um, <laughs> and if then you resonate with it, you're going to feel if you resonate with it, come to the extended and we'll take it from there. So you maybe want to fast forward because sometimes it takes a bit to get these three cards out. Today it doesn't. Apparently. One more please for Capricorn and the silence. Oh, I love this. I love this Capricorn. If you could see what the camera doesn't see now, and what I see is that the freaking whole deck, I had one card left in my hand. The whole deck came out, I had one card left in my hand. And what comes out on the table exactly like this, so I'm, I'm gonna feel into what this is about, is this no weight. It says on job <laughs> for you. <laughs> on job. But uh, in reversed, it says no. It says no, wait. Okay, so then I'm waiting. What is it that you want me to do? That clear, I don't think it ever has happened, ever. This is so fun. It's due to you guys. You're very open because I this these sort of things could have not happen. Sorry. Okay, what do you want me to do? There's one more part here, okay? Wisdom. Wisdom. You're gathering so much wisdom. I'm so drawn to talk about the W and the M. The w and the M. I mean, this, this is significant for me. So, this is so interesting. So, I'm drawn to talk about this is a W and this is an M. And the thing is, I'm really drawn to the W and I'm... I, the thing is, my, my second name is uh, Maria, Maria, and I always love the W. It's just, in terms of numerology and in terms of what every letter stands for, the W is just the most receiving letter that you can find. This is really, oh, it's like double openings. It's sort of anchored in with arms wide open. It's like you're, that's a song, arms wide open. Is that creed? Is that creed you? Um, arms wide open. I get chills all over my body. There's something with the W. You're standing up like this with your arms wide open, anchored in at the bottom. And the W sort of comes along with the uh, Oprah Winfrey, Walt Disney. You might have heard of this little thing called WWW, the biggest thing we have on the internet. Um, it's just a really, really cool, and I was like, that's so cool. And I could just switch my M 
to the W. So that's what I've done. I so maybe if you see my name here and there, and I have a Swedish group um, where my name there actually is Emma W. Bender. And there's something to that that we have the W that is up here and it's down here so above so below okay why oh, i'm gonna start to cry capricorn you're about to bring in probably the biggest shift in your life i think that some oh man get it together some of you guys probably have been waiting for this shift your entire life. And I think that there's something that's being sent to you or something. You understanding all of this, like having this connection in with the council, like right? really understanding that there are angels out there and that there actually is a council. Council. And that the, you're a part of it. The, you un, you get this now like there's a, there's the subtleness first but you bring it into reality i know i'm so much over time i'm sorry they just want to give this to you to have it be subtle and come into real form to fully understand what that means and to fully fully harness that skill and and growing this wisdom we have the number five here which is change it's a change in your life path you're you're leaving everything behind everything that you know or have known you're leaving it behind you have the book of wisdom here we have the wisdom so above so below you're bringing in heaven on earth you're bringing paradise to earth you're so above so below it's the same it's the same frequency you understand the subtleness to the realness the the non-physical to the physical, the problem to the solution, the question to the answer. It's like you get it. You get it now. They just really want to emphasize this so much that I get a, 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 a card constellation that spells out, no, wait, there's more to say here. And to start to listen to that, to not just, oh my God, that was silly. No, it wasn't. It was freaking messages. Messages. I don't mean to sound, but was that it? That's it. Okay. Can I go on? We can go on. <laughs> wow. One more card for Capricorn. I'm sweaty. I'm so sweaty. When the energy gets going like that, I just get so sweaty. Did I say that three times? Uh, and what comes upwards? <laughs> I just want to show you. Because I'm not going to show you. I was going to say, oh, maybe I can talk about that in the extended. But that's not going to happen. That That's going to be like it. If you come to the extended, you can see what this is. So you can see it before. Uh, big happy changes. This came, it dropped out. Big happy changes. And a woman there that is so excited she cannot contain herself. She looks happier when I look at her. But she, you can see her arms stretched up like that. She has such a grin on her face and has, if you didn't know, it's this big happy changes. So that's what you're looking forward to, guys. <clears throat> I have three cards here that I haven't looked at myself. I'm gonna go into the silent part now. <sighs> Take a deep breath and thank you so much for watching, for being on this journey with me. I cannot have received these answers if you're not sitting out there wanting them. So thank you. Um, come to the extent if you feel drawn there. If not, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.